Okay, welcome everyone to this continuation of what is tropical geometry. Uh, yeah, part two. And we'll now discuss tropical arithmetic. Tropical arithmetic again. A very beautiful. Whoever came up, well, we had that last time, right? Came up with this name tropical. Uh, it was really a good name. Let's that, be realistic. A tropical arithmetic. That sounds very good. You can even try to convince a non mathematician to study tropical arithmetic, just the name. Just the name turns me on already. Um, very, very beautiful. So let's have a look at this tropical arithmetic and what is it all about. And then we can get started doing some geometry. Right? Tropical arithmetic. So tropical arithmetic. What is arithmetic? Arithmetic is addition and multiplication. So what is tropical addition? So we do the following trick. It kind of looks very strange, but it works very well. Um, is the following. Instead of having a plus, we do a min, right? So one plus two is one. One plus two is one because I take the min, right? I take the minimum of them. So here's a tropical addition table. So let's try whether we can understand that. Five plus three. I give you a second to think about what five plus three is. Five plus three is three because we take the min and so on. So this tropical addition table is like so simple. It's just ridiculous how simple it is. I understand the pattern that is going on here. One, 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 one. Do, 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 do. Three, 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 three. You just take the min. Kind of very strange. Huh? A little bit strange. You need to get used to it. And that's why I usually write uh, the fun plus, so the circle plus, for tropical addition to distinguish it from the usual plus. So just to make sure uh, we are careful here. And the zero element, I always like to write this equation, my favorite equation of all time, zero equals infinity. Yeah. So now you get the it gets literally everyone scared, even the mathematicians. Zero equals infinity. But um, in this, well, using the minimum, yeah, the zero element shouldn't change anything if you add to it. Uh, but how does it use with the minimum? Well, if you take the minimum, infinity will not change anything, right? So the minimum of five at infinity is, uh, I guess, if I'm not mistaken, is five. So this equation, which looks completely insane, it's actually true in my notation here. Uh, another reason to like it. Because now the zero element is infinity. You know, f very strange. So you have this addition table, which is like really trivial. And the zero element is infinity. Again, takes us a little bit to get used to it. But yeah, you could call the tropical. It's a bit strange. And I write this, this funny symbol here. Right? Tropical addition. Yeah. Uh, bear with me here. This is a correct thing to do. Not quite obvious why you should do that, but it's kind of fun. Or let's just say, let's just say the only reason to do it is to write this equation here. Because that equation is already uh, justification enough to do it. Okay, addition taking minimum. Addition taking minimum. Okay. Multiplication is addition. <laughs> now it gets very confusing. So the multi tropical multiplication is the usual addition. Again, the table now looks very easy. Much easier than the multiplication table. Oh God, multiplication tables. The good old times in school where I had to learn multiplication tables. Should have looked like this much, much easier. So seven times seven, as everyone knows, is 14. Because times is plus. Yeah? And again, uh, not to get confused, I will write this funny times here for the tropical multiplication. And again, I can write an equation which everyone likes and or everyone hates, depends. But I like it. I can write one equals zero. Yeah. Wonderful. One equals zero. My favorite equation of all time, uh, just after zero equals infinity. And what I mean by that is the neutral element with respect to this type of multiplication is of course zero, right? As you know, because multiplication is just addition in this case. Yeah. So and you observe. Well, let's just go through it. Addition is associative commutative and has a zero element. Sure, because it's taking the min. You just you could just observe that. Uh, multiplication is has the same and has a zero element, a, a one element, whatever, because it is the classical addition, and they distribute over one another. So you essentially already have a field, yeah, where you just have addition replaced by minimum and multiplication replaced by addition. It's kind of, <laughs> kind of a little bit fun to say. It's always so much fun to say. You replace addition by minimum, multiplication by addition. Yeah. Somehow there's a shift somewhere in the standard arithmetic. Uh, just, be, just be aware, just stupid side comment. 
the min or the max you can do the you can also use the max if you want but then your zero element would be minus infinity some people do that as well i go with the with the min ring no? so just to be clear here they're dual to one another it doesn't really matter which one you take but anyway in case you wonder why i'm preferring min over max there is no reason it's just i essentially flip the coin or to be more precise i'm following a reference and they do it no, that's it and yeah there is not not really any choice but anyway again i would really like to uh, those multiplication addition tables and they are so much easier so it's somehow this the tropical arithmetic is so much easier than well standard arithmetic why don't we learn that in school it's just much easier um turns out it's not really much easier but we'll get there here's an example of how much easier it actually is there's this famous fresh person's dream so fresh person some student that freshly enters whatever school or university high school whatever would really like to write something like x plus y squared is x squared plus y squared which this picture hopefully convinces you that it is plain wrong yeah x squared plus y squared is not x plus y squared you're missing the cross term here yeah? you're literally just missing this twice anyway so this by the way a proof without words a uh, beautiful proof without words so it's clearly not true in classical arithmetic or standard arithmetic whatever you want to call it but in tropical arithmetic a fun exercise please do that it's fun <laughs> you actually see that this one is is true so again um it gets much easier it looks very much easier right so addition table trivial multiplication table trivial uh binomial coefficient binomial theorem trivial <laughs> it's a lot of fun so yeah so um that's tropical arithmetic and why haven't we learned that in school it's a good question so much easier so the tropical semi ring or i just call it the tropicals just to be completely confusing i just call it the tropicals is r and in infinity so we really want to take infinity because it is our zero element right so you just add it r and infinity uh, with the tropical addition and the tropical multiplication and this is what people call a semi ring or a commutative semi ring uh because it's unital associative commutative uh the infinity behaves as you think it would be it eats everything you throw at it exactly like the zero and it distributes over one itself that's kind of the point of having a, a semi ring um the most famous example of a semi ring is actually the boolean semi ring with truth values so where plus is or and times is end and you only have zero and one so uh false and true and you can just write down this type of semi ring it has kind of the same uh type of behavior it has exactly the same axioms and i usually well we don't use that right but there's also arithmetic over the booleans just to mention it here so it's not completely random that you have the semi ring thing uh but it's kind of the correct thing to do for tropical geometry you know, this type of thing so i call it the tropicals and i give it the symbol the bold the bold t right so bold t the tropicals and essentially tropical geometry that i can summarize now is geometry over the tropicals and not over the complex numbers not over the real numbers uh but over the tropical numbers or the tropical field or the tropical semi field or the tropical semi ring whatever you call it, want to call it uh i would probably just almost say always say field it's not a field just be careful i say field but it's not a field yeah? just call it the tropicals and then everyone is kind of happy right tropicals essentially the real line but with infinity added and with those funny addition and multiplication and i said it again it's like much easier right almost easy easy as pie here easy easy but then why is this funny word semi here if it's so much easier semi is usually saying there's something missing and yeah so you don't have a minus in this thing yeah just to give you an example the equation 3 plus x equals 12 has no solution because the plus is uh, the min so min of x and 3 well whatever x is this is at least 3 right so yeah, there's an equation a very simple equation actually it has no solution and that's why it's called semi there is no minus in this thing yeah it's just what it is there is no minus there is no way to invert the min process and this leads to the five percent that i usually like to mention where algebraic geometry is easier than tropical geometry or tropical geometry is harder than algebraic geometry 
is that there is no direct minus. By direct minus, I would mean the, the well, I write the direct plus for the tropical plus. There is no tropical minus if you want, because kind of solving equations is much more difficult and kind of the linear algebra where you usually need to solve equations um, is it's really, really difficult over uh, the tropical semi ring, which makes it then interesting for applications to cryptography, for example, where, as I said in the last video, people like difficult things. Tro cryptography pe people are very strange. They like difficult things. And here linear algebra is really not easy over uh, the tropicals because even the easiest equations have simply no solution. There is no direct minus. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I also hope to see you next time.